Welcome to the enigmatic world of The Invaders, a gripping 1967 television series that left an indelible mark on the science fiction genre. As we delve into the mysterious narrative, one might ponder which classic Hollywood actor from this series stands out as your favorite. Or, perhaps, do you hold a cherished memory associated with the show? Now, let's uncover some fascinating tidbits about The Invaders. The series, known for its compelling storytelling, revolved around architect David Vincent, who stumbles upon an extraterrestrial invasion of Earth. As the suspense unfolds, the audience is drawn into a thrilling exploration of trust, paranoia, and the unknown. Intriguingly, did you know that the series featured notable actors like Roy Finns, whose portrayal of David Vincent earned acclaim? Finn's performance added a layer of authenticity to the show, capturing the essence of a man fighting against an unseen and formidable enemy. As we journey through the memories of the invaders, we invite you to share your most cherished recollections or personal experiences related to the series in the comments below. Your stories enrich the tapestry of shared nostalgia, connecting fans across time. Discover the allure of the invaders, a series that continues to captivate audiences with its timeless themes. We look forward to hearing your tales and memories in the comments below. The Invaders, a landmark science fiction television series that aired in the late 1960s, emerged as a compelling narrative that captivated audiences with its intriguing premise and distinctive style. Created by Larry Cohen, the show revolves around architect David Vincent, portrayed by Roy Finns, who stumbles upon an extraterrestrial invasion while investigating a deserted highway. As Vincent desperately tries to expose and thwart the covert alien takeover, the series skillfully blends suspense, paranoia, and a touch of Cold War anxiety. The iconic opening sequence, featuring an eerie and memorable score, set the tone for the show's atmospheric tension. Finn's portrayal of Vincent, a reluctant hero battling an unseen enemy, became emblematic of the era's fascination with the unknown and mirrored societal anxieties. Despite its relatively short run, The Invaders left an indelible mark on the sci-fi genre and influenced subsequent TV productions, leaving viewers questioning the thin line between reality and the extraterrestrial. In The Invaders, one distinctive feature marking the extraterrestrial infiltrators is a peculiar fourth finger. Described by David Vincent as deformed, it's actually immobile, always protruding. Throughout the series, hints suggest the aliens are working to eliminate this giveaway, indicating a relentless drive for perfection in their human disguise. Notably, Quentin Tarantino paid homage to the 1960s classic in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. A scene featuring Sharon Tate walking past a sign advertising the invaders subtly underscores the show's cultural impact cementing its presence in the era's Hollywood tapestry. Adding to its allure, the series falls under the banner of Quinn Martin Productions, a TV hallmark. William Woodson's distinctive narration, a common thread in Martin's shows, lends an authoritative tone, guiding viewers through the suspenseful narrative of alien infiltration. As we delve into the series, these unique elements underscore the invaders. As a benchmark in sci-fi television, weaving a tale that transcends its 1967 origins. Stay tuned for more insights into this iconic show. Roy Finn's demanding shooting schedule in The Invaders took a toll, leading to reduced screen time in the spores. The actor, portraying architect David Vincent, faced exhaustion during the grueling production. This shift in focus allowed other cast members to step into the spotlight. Interestingly, the iconic alien vanishing effect, marked by a red glow, didn't debut until the third episode. This visual element, later becoming synonymous with the extraterrestrial presence, added a layer of mystery and intrigue to the series. Delving further into the show's influence, the Irish punk band Stiff Little Fingers drew inspiration from the alien's immobile little fingers. This peculiar characteristic became a defining feature and left an unexpected imprint on popular culture. As we unravel these behind-the-scenes insights, it becomes evident that the Invaders not only captivated audiences with its narrative, but also faced challenges that shaped its development. Roy Finn's fatigue, the delayed introduction of a key visual effect, and the unexpected cultural impact on a punk band all contribute to the multifaceted legacy of this 1967 TV series. Stay tuned for more untold stories from the world of the Invaders. 
Larry Cohen, the mastermind behind The Invaders, drew inspiration for the series from two iconic sci-fi films of his youth, Invaders from Mars and Invasion of the Body Snatchers. These childhood favorites fueled Cohen's creative vision, shaping the narrative of The Invaders. The eerie theme music, composed by Dominic Frontier, added a chilling touch to the series. Interestingly, this haunting composition first echoed in The Outer Limits, the form of things unknown in 1964, setting the stage for the atmospheric tension that became a hallmark of The Invaders. Beyond its television impact, The Invaders found a fan in Frank Black, an avid science fiction enthusiast. Black's appreciation for the show manifested in his work, notably the song Bad, Wicked World, where he skillfully weaved distinct references to the invaders. This connection underscores the show's cultural reach, extending beyond the screen into the realm of music. As we explore the roots and cultural influence of the invaders, it becomes evident that Larry Cohen's cinematic inspiration and Dominic Frontier's haunting score played pivotal roles in shaping the series. Stay tuned for more insights into the multifaceted legacy of this sci-fi classic. David Vincent's portrayal by Roy Thins in the 1967 sci-fi classic earned him the sixth spot on TV Guide's 25 Greatest Sci-Fi Legends. Finn's performance as the architect stumbling upon an extraterrestrial invasion resonated with audiences, solidifying his place among iconic sci-fi characters. Fast forward to 1995, and the Invaders got a remake in the form of a miniseries. Interestingly, despite being played by the same actor, the David Vincent character in the remake is labeled as David Vincent II. This remake adds a new dimension to the legacy of the Invaders, exploring the character in a different narrative. Behind the scenes, the show's ingenuity shines. Unlike typical productions, the Invaders never featured a full-size UFO. Instead, a filming miniature was optically printed into the sky whenever the saucer took flight. The set design included a full-size set representing the landing legs, allowing for realistic shots of characters approaching the landed saucer. The control room within the saucer remained a semi-permanent set, showcasing the series' practical yet innovative approach to production. These facts offer a glimpse into the enduring appeal and technical innovation of The Invaders, from its iconic character ranking to its successful remake, and behind-the-scenes production ingenuity. The series continues to hold its place in the sci-fi pantheon, a testament to its impact on both audiences and the television industry. As we bid adieu to the enigmatic realm of the invaders, let's not merely close the chapter but embark on a journey of introspection. Allow the echoes of this timeless series to resonate within you, awakening dormant memories and unearthing sentiments long confined. This cosmic odyssey stirred not just the depths of the television screen but the recesses of our own existential musings. As you recollect the clandestine struggles against extraterrestrial forces and the indomitable spirit of David Vincent, ponder how this interstellar tapestry wove itself into the fabric of your own narrative. Did it beckon you into late-night reveries or forge an unspoken alliance with your imagination? Perhaps, like Vincent, you found yourself grappling with a profound quest for truth in the midst of a world that teetered on the precipice of the extraordinary. Now, the baton of reflection passes to you. Share your clandestine encounters with the invaders, be they moments of suspenseful revelation, heart-pounding anticipation, or quiet contemplation. Unveil the layers of connection you forged with this iconic series of connection that transcends time and space. In the boundless tapestry of our collective experiences, your narrative is a vital stitch. Let it intertwine with the rich legacy of the invaders, adding depth and dimension to a story that spans generations. Through your words, let the spirit of this otherworldly saga echo through the corridors of memory. Thank you for allowing the invaders to be more than just a series. Thank you for making it a part of your personal cosmos. Your stories, like constellations in the vast night sky, illuminate the enduring allure of this classic tale. Until we cross paths again in the recesses of nostalgia, revel in the extraordinary tales that have unfolded within and around you. Engage, reminisce, and forge connections for the enigma lives on, eternally etched in the cosmic archives of our shared consciousness. Your tales, a testament to the enduring power of the invaders.